Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. And today we are here. We're doing a slightly different take on what we used to go and do. It just seems that in some way vibe with it being the month of Halloween. Next on the 16th we have St. Coleman of Kilroot, who as far as I know was not a murderer of any way. Even did they like go, only did they like he only like, killed roots. My only question is, did they like going camping? <laughs> well, they Saint were St. Coleman loved going camping. St. Coleman had to have loved going camping. They were mm-hmm. an abbot and a bishop in Ireland, so maybe they killed a lot of potato roots by eating them. No, but no, the potatoes from the new world. Before potatoes Again, made it to the it's, old world. It's, it's <laughs> so hard for us to imagine what was Ireland like <laughs> pre-potato. I'm assuming cabbage. Cabbage is an old world crop, oh, right? <laughs> so much cabbage. And then there was and still all the... oppressed by England, so you know. Not, yeah. not then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say before they got you know oppressed by England, they they had c- cows and stuff. There was lots of food in Ireland during the famine. They just weren't allowed to eat it. <laughs> so many snakes. There weren't snakes. <laughs> and then on the 19th. Snakes, as far as we can tell, have never been native once you get past, like, Pangea level times. <laughs> See, but that's what, that's what su- such a great job St. Patrick did. Look, guys, there's no snakes. But there have never been sa- snakes. Didn't I do a great job of driving out the snakes? <laughs> and then on the 19th, we have St. Cleopatra. Oh. Who was never queen of the Nile. Not that Cleopatra. But she was murdered in Kemet, which is now Egypt. Mm-hmm. Did she have did she have a lover named Mark Anthony? Probably not. She was an early Christian martyr. Fair enough. So Here. good chance you know, good chance of an early virgin martyr. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now it's important to note that the famous Cleopatra was like Cleopatra the thirteenth. So there very was a common lot of name. Yeah. yeah. I mean all the men were Ptolemies, all the women were Cleopatra in that dynasty. I mean, it's a good name. I'm not saying it's not. Especially for, you know, rulers, because you know, usually it's mm-hmm. oh it's a girl. You know, the Cleopatras were all, yay, your dad's happy, we have a girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Her name literally means joy of the father. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the 21st, St. Agatho. Because as everybody knows, it was Agatho all along. I mean, they were an early Christian desert father. So actually, like, a lot of early writings were about Agatho. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, come on, those er- those mm-hmm. early desert guys are super impressive. Mm-hmm. And then on the 25th, in case you didn't get enough of it earlier <laughs> on this month. On the 5th. <laughs> on the 5th. So 20 days er- twenty days later, in case you didn't get enough. We like to go with spacing. Mm-hmm. We have St. Boneface the First. Yes, because he was Pope Boneface the First. He's our second Boneface of the month, mm-hmm. but he's the first. He was a priest. He was a papal legate. He Ooh. was the Pope. And apparently... The Pope. Apparently, he was either made the Pope or, like, voted in the Pope the same day as the anti-Pope was. Dun. Like, he got the majority of the votes, yep. and the, the second guy won. They they were just like, nope, we're, we're, we're going with him. So he that, had to deal with that. That That's almost always how it goes. The anti-Pope <laughs> is almost always a defeated claimant. Yeah. Had to he deal, takes his ball and he goes home. Had to deal with the anti-Pope Eulalius. <laughs> what a jerk. And the Pelagian heresy. What a bunch of jerks. <laughs> Thought they could save themselves. And then, bony face. For Halloween, we have I believe the the, the saint we've mentioned every Halloween because well, come on. If you're going to have a saint on Halloween, there are lots of saints, but there's only one Saint Wolfgang on Halloween. Who you will never convince us was not at least secretly a werewolf. <laughs> uh, Wolfgang, October thirty first. Come on, people. I mean, he's known for being a bishop, yep. a teacher, a preacher, a reformer in the church. But, you know, those are all day gigs. What did he do at what night? Did, uh, uh, Wolfgang of Regensburg. And, and you know, awesome. And, you know, werewolfing is like a three-day thing. <laughs> Three days a month. I mean... And he would demonstrate his considerable holiness by becoming a werewolf and yet not giving in to the bloodlust. Yes. What a guy. And until next time, remember to live your faith. Love your faith. And share, share that, that love. love. And have a very happy Halloween. Spooky.